Hi everybody, welcome back. Well, today I've not been on for a while. I've sort of redecorated and stuff like that. I'm just in the process of sorting some stuff out. Not even had an haircut. Um, anyway, I diversify. Does that make sense? Well, so today I thought I'd do a comparison between the Amazon Echo and the Google Home. So I'm sure everybody knows what they are, they're like voice activated streaming devices. Um, the Echo, I, I sort of like the looks of the Echo a bit better personally, um, but the Google one can sort of fit in a home pretty much a bit better than you know, it's a bit more style wise so I think it's more for I don't know people who actually care about things fitting in with the decor and stuff like that not that I don't but I don't know I still prefer the echo so what I've done is I've signed up for Amazon Music on a trial in fact no that isn't true my dad signed up for Amazon Music, not on a trial. In fact, yeah, and I've signed up for Google Music on a three month trial. Um, both $9.99 a month. Um, the one thing I've found out with the Google one is that YouTube Red is going to be available in the UK at some point um, gives you access to YouTube without any ads and things like that plus also add free music and stuff so that's quite a nice add-on for that um, the Amazon one is basically just a stream all your device type scenario although it does have uh, quite nice lyrics on the PC one so if you're into your lyrics and things like that and all learning them I find that's quite a good option for quite a lot of the songs right so what I'll do I'm just going to do this off the top of my head and we're just going to test it out so Alexa good morning good morning on this day in 1970 Patricia Palinkas became the first woman ever to play professionally in a game of American football Palinkas who was a place kicking back up for her husband Stephen Palinkas, got her chance to play for the Orlando Panthers when he injured his leg. Alexa, volume up. So basically that's what happens when you say good morning to Amazon. Okay Google, good morning. Hi Thor, it's good to hear you. It is 2.20pm. Right now in West Horton it's 18 degrees and partly cloudy. It'll be mostly sunny with a forecasted high of 18 and a low of 10. Enjoy your day. Here's the latest news. From headlines from BBC News at 1.07pm today. Okay, Google. Passenger groups have read. Stop. Google, volume up. Okay, Google. Volume up. So, as you can see, they both have slightly different takes on, if you say good morning, you get a little fact with Alexa, where you get the weather and stuff, even though that's not my location, where the hell that is. Not a clue. Obviously, one of my female fans hoping I'm in West Orton with them. <laughs> Honestly, I wish. Anyway, <laughs> um... So that's basically the good morning. So you can basically set a timer on each of them. Alexa, set timer for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, starting now. Okay, Google, set timer for 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds, starting now. So in 30 seconds time, they should both go off or if you just ignore it like I do and just pretend that it's not working then 
you get your food which is pretty much not cooked perfectly but anyway again stick to what you know and that's the oil. okay Alexa stop so to stop it okay Google stop so basically they're just slightly different so I do it again I slightly prefer Alexa on this one um, they have, there's, a, there's so much you can do with them I actually love these things and to be perfectly honest whichever one you go for is you're not you're gonna love it do you know it, it's like they're both slightly different in slightly different ways and slightly different responses but I don't know I, I just think that they're both pretty cool Alexa tell me a joke What's a pirate's favourite letter? You might think it's R, but his first love be the C. <laughs> it's just silly little things. Okay, Google, tell me a joke. Okay, here you go. What do you get from a pampered cow? Spoiled milk. <laughs> it's just silly little things like that. You can set calendar reminders, um, shopping lists, to do lists and reminders and. All, all the rest of it, what you can do. Um, I, I don't know, I, I, I do like them. I, I'm finding the more I use them, the more I like them. Um, music streaming wise, like I say, I've got paired options for both of these. Uh, I'm not 100% certain how it would work on a free version if they actually do free versions. Um, but I would imagine it would just be similar if. if they do actually do one for free, I'm not too sure. So, Alexa, play Nobody's Diary. Nobody's Diary by Jazzu. Alexa, stop. Okay, Google, play Nobody's Diary. Sure, Nobody's Diary by Yazoo. Playing on Google Play Music. Okay, Google. Stop. Now, I actually prefer the sound out of the Google box. I don't know, for, for music and things like that, it just seems a bit punchier, I, the, the, there seems to be a bit more kick in it, I'm quite getting into the sound quality at the moment and for as much as I love the Amazon one, I think for playing music, the Google one for me personally, in my ears, is the much better one so if you're predominantly getting it to play music, I would say My apologies, I don't understand and she doesn't understand me, so obviously female. Um, what was I saying then? Yeah, if you're getting it for playing music, then I would personally get the Google one. I, I just think it sounds slightly better music wise and things like that. There is one thing which I came across the other day, which is I, I don't know why I can't get this working, but I'll, I'll show you now. Alexa, play Sign of the Times, Harry Styles. Sign of the Times by Harry Styles. Okay, Alexa, stop. Google, okay, Google. Play Sign of the Times, Harry Styles. Alright, Sign of the Times by Harry Styles. Here it is on Google Play Music. Something seems to have gone wrong. When you're ready, give it another try. See, for some reason, Google doesn't pick that up. Um, okay, Google. Play Sign of the Times. Okay, Sign of the Times by Harry Styles. Here it is on Google Play Music. Something seems to have gone wrong. When you're ready, give it another try. 
See, it's a bit of pain. I actually found a way around it. Well, not quite. Uh, okay, Google. Play Harry Styles. I looked for Harry Styles on Google Play Music, but it either isn't available or can't be played right now. Like I said, that. See, this is another thing. It understands you right part of the time. Rest of the time, nah. Yeah. It's like I'm speaking some foreign language or something like that. Okay, Google. Play Harry Styles. I looked for Iris Tiles on Google Play Music. Stop doing that. I'm afraid that. it either isn't available or can't be played right now. Play Harry Styles. It's not rocket science. So, okay, Google. Play Harry Styles. Alright, playing Harry Styles on Google Play Music. Oh my god. Uh, uh, no, he plays it. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Stop. <coughs> so I don't I don't know to me that was just a pain in the backside. But like I can say like we saw in the early one, um, okay Google. Talk to me. Okay Google. Play eighties music. Alright. Here's a Google Play Music. All right, music on Google Play Music. Here you go. Okay, Google. Stop. Alexa, play some eighties music. Here's a station for eighties music. All eighties. <laughs> Okay, Google, uh, Amazon, uh, Alexa, Amazon, stop. Okay, Google, play some eighties music. All right, here's a Google Play Music. Okay, here's some music on Google Play Music. Okay, Google, stop. So as you can see, I mean, search-wise, you'd think Google would have this nailed. It's Google, for crying out loud. They're a search engine. But they don't, I don't know, for some reason, on music searches, it just doesn't seem the best. Now, I don't know whether it's something I'm doing wrong, like speaking, but Alexa understands me. Hi, Alexa. Or whether it's just Google, which are, are just not with it at the moment. I don't know. There, there seems to be something with the music. Although when you do get the music playing and you do actually get tracks what you like, it does actually sound fantastic. So I'm probably not really doing it justice search-wise here. Okay, Google. Uh, play November Rain. Sure, November Rain by Guns N' Roses. Playing on Google Play Music. I'm afraid something went wrong. When you're ready, give it another try. See, so I don't know what's going wrong on the music. Maybe uh, I'm using a different account or something like that, I don't know. Um, but there seems to be like sort of issues where Alexa, play November Rain. November Rain <coughs> by Guns N' Roses. Okay, Alexa, stop. So, as you can see, it, it's like the Google Play one, for me, is it's a miss on... I don't, I don't know what's going on with the Google account thing at all, that it's not playing music or it is playing music. Okay, Google. Play Tonight is What It Means to Be Young. Okay, Tonight is What It Means to Be Young by Fire Inc. Playing on Google Play Music. Okay, Google, stop. And then all of a sudden, like, you'll say something and it works. So it's just, 
It's maybe something, maybe it's my connection or something. Although my router's like about three inches away from it. So I, yeah, all right. Um, both of them, if you have to choose in one, <coughs> you can't really go wrong with them. I do sort of like the way they both light up at the top. Um, both Alexa and Google. Alexa, hi. Hi. Okay, Google. Hi. Hi, Thor. What can I do for you? Stop. So, they, like, Google... Okay, Google, stop. Google's a bit more personalised. Like, on the, like, Hi, Thor and this, that and the other. Which I think is quite nice, you know. It, it's uh, where Alexa isn't. But... I think also just saying the name, like, so you, you say, like, Alexa, and then she just wakes up and, well, or doesn't this time, obviously, where it's going, OK, Google, it's just not, stop, it's just not quite the same oh, to how me. How can I help? Stop. So it just doesn't seem as personalised to me saying, OK, Google, but taking that apart from it, it, it isn't too bad. Um, it'll also tell you stuff like Sorry, you know. I'm not sure how to help with that, but my team's helping me learn. Well, you will learn how to play the music on. But it, it's like overall, both of them are pretty good, and it's a, a case of take your pick basically. Setup's pretty simple, although you will need a, a tablet or a phone or something to download the app on to set it up. Uh, and that applies to both of them. Uh, for Google, it's the Home tab, and for Alexa, it's the Alexa tab. Hi, Alexa. Mm. Um, I think, for me, Alexa sounds sexier than Google. How old are you? Mm. I don't know that one. Yeah, and she doesn't know. Um, but. That's just, again, my personal choice. I don't mind the Google one at all. Um, there's nothing really else to say, to be honest. They're both reasonably, reasonably priced. Um, Amazon Prime Day, they was actually going for half price, which is an absolute bargain, and everyone should have got one. Uh, Google Home, I, I got cheap in a sale. Um, but the prices have gone back up, but I would imagine coming up to Christmas or maybe Black Friday or around then, they will have some quite good discounts on them. And there's certainly something to consider for a Christmas present for someone, if you're thinking of getting someone a Christmas present. I give one, well, I say I give one, I lent one to my dad, and um, I found that he didn't really use it. Now, whether it's because he's not used to modern technology or anything like that. I don't know, but I, he tended to stay away from it. So maybe for older relatives, if they're anything like mine, then technology, stay away from getting like a tiddlywink set or something like that. Um, but I think anyone who's got an interest in either music, um, or, or just like they just want reminders or things like that. They are certainly an ideal to, thing to have around. Although, just remember, you do have to have a paid subscription to them. The one thing about the Amazon, which I haven't mentioned about the paid subscription, is that they just do a Echo One only, which I think is about four quid, something like that. So for four quid a month, if you don't want to listen to music on any other devices apart from this, then it's an absolute steal. You can listen to pretty much any track what's out there, or certainly what's on Amazon's Play Store. Uh, and it says up to about 40, 30 or 40 million tracks are out there or something like that. So for kids and things like that to have these just stored around the bedroom with music on tap is an absolutely excellent idea. Especially if you've got like sort of kids who've got separate bedrooms and they're both fighting over the latest sort of Taylor Swift album. Well, I said Taylor Swift then. 
maybe because she keeps having her ass groped or something and cries about it. Although she has got a really nice ass. I'd grope it. Anyway, that's another subject for um, maybe years. Well, <laughs> I think I'm a bit too old to be groping Taylor Swift. Maybe in the day. No. Anyway, I ramble on again. So, basically, both I would recommended. I personally prefer the Amazon Echo. I, I just think it there's just something a bit more usable for me about it. Google Home, I'm just, uh, it's okay, but for, again for me, I find I'm repeating myself too many times. And um, being Google search, I, I just think it should be better. Although I think probably future proof wise, Google Home is probably the one to go for because it will improve and it does sound a lot beefier and tastier than the Amazon Echo. Both of them, one last thing, before, like this video has been on for about three months, um, is they can both be connected to Bluetooth devices. So if you wanted to put them to a Bluetooth device and have it playing from your Bluetooth device, say that you have like some decent Bluetooth speakers or whatever, then you can get better sound either way from them, which isn't, it sort of, them makes them both pretty much equal if you're doing it that way. But whichever one you decide for guys, then it's basically your choice. But hopefully I'll give you a bit of an insight into the madness of my world. And yeah, Taylor Swift still has a groupable ass. Right. Have fun guys and I shall speak to you soon. Um, next one, I don't know what the next one might be. I might actually just do a you and me chat. At some point, um, Dory Man and myself are going to be um, just having a bit of a conversation. Just, just talking crap. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll spend an evening just talking shit. And uh, we'll edit it down and put the best bits online so if you have a look out for that that will be coming up sometime in the next month or so I would imagine but um, if you check out his videos at Dory Man um, and you can just see the conversations what might happen right speak to you soon guys take care bye